not be the same. Two people laughed. Two people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu takes on his multi-armed form and says, Hey guys, Robert and Ingrid here, and we just saw the big mind trip. Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, Hedera, what have you. Hmm. What did you think? Hmm. What did you just watch, right? What did I just watch, but not in a bad way. Right. Like, there was still, it was weird, don't get me wrong, but there was something oddly endearing about it. You quest you wondered if someone put weed in your room, though, didn't you? It's just like, what am I watching? And why is it not terrible? <laughs> That's the funny thing about this. It's so bad it's good. This isn't so bad it's good. This is so good it's weird. This is, yeah, so weird it's good. Where it's just like... Like, yeah, obviously this was an environmentalist movie. That that was something that is they're not trying to hide or oh, trying no. to stick now, around. But I just, I just wanted Japan, it was needed big time. Mm-hmm. But somehow it despite the fact that it is basically said every three seconds in the movie, I didn't feel annoyed by it because I think it had enough other spicy stuff in there that there is still something entertaining. It had probably the biggest body count since the first movie on screen, and this, but this one was more direct. Yeah, like, we get to see, like, some more direct carnage. People actually turning into skeletons! Oh, yeah! Yep, and one character we followed at least a little bit gets completely axed off. Mm-hmm. Not, not a main character. In fact, I wasn't that surprised or sad to see him go, but it was still like, oh, shit. Yeah, we're getting serious with this one. Granted, the guy was an idiot, let's be honest. Oh, let's throw stuff at, it, at the monster. Oh, yeah, I remember that scene, and it's just like, what are you guys doing? It's I know I know you want to help. I know. Well, my guess is they were high. They had to have been high. Given mm -hmm. how they were partying, there had to have been drugs given out back then. This was the 70s. Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, 71, but still. I would not have been surprised if they were, if that party they were having, someone brought, you know, <laughs> ah. <laughs> Well, they did cut, I mean, I'm not saying they were stoned, but let's be honest, they did seem a little lethargic. Yeah, that's fair enough. But, um, but yeah, though, over all the, I mean, and Hedera, what a monster, right? Yeah, Hedera is really interesting, like, and There's when the all more the unique forms, and they have to figure out how Hedera even works at God, all yeah. before they can even start combating him. Yep, just the idea that he is sewage given sentience because it's that bad. Mm-hmm. Just that, that came idea. from some garbage corner of the universe, and now our garbage is making it a huge problem. And also, I gotta say, I did not. My, the adults, the, the human story in this was not bad. There was a kid in here, but he wasn't annoying. And I liked his dad. Although, mm -hmm. why do I have a feeling the actor wrote in his contract, I want to be laying down most of this movie? <laughs> Didn't I it feel that say, way? However, there, I feel like the one scene that really brought home, like, just how bad everything was for me, is that one scene with the kitten and all of the muck. That actually oh, broke yeah. my heart. Well, yeah, it's it's like, tr is trouble near you? Is trouble near you? Um, he's sleeping.
in Oberbrye's cat tree. But yeah, Aww. it's just like, as a cat lover, that just kind of really got to me. I hate seeing animals dirty. Now, my guess is I think that was probably bee footage or something. I don't think they really did that to a cat. I think that probably happened in Japan, and they recorded it. I mean, that's perfectly fair, but what a way to get a point across. Oh, yeah, but but you get what I'm saying about with the dad, though, right? Did you get, mm -hmm. get that feeling like, this guy must have had in his contract, I want to lay down most of the movie, because the whole, almost, the whole, like, 90% of his time in the movie, he was laying down. Now, for good reason, but even near the end, he's laying out in that car. It's like, mm -hmm. did that feel a little odd, odd to you? I mean, it wouldn't be the weirdest thing in this movie. Yeah, but, um, but like I said, there is a kid in here, but not bad, but not memorable. Just mm -hmm. there. Uh-huh. Oh, but let's talk about Godzilla in this movie. This is Godzilla. This is the closest Godzilla's gotten to Gamera. Mm-hmm. Would you yeah, agree Yeah, I've that? had that same feeling, too. I mean, right, right, like... right when we were introduced to him, he's strolling. It's not big. It's more like... Mm -hmm. There was the music, and he's just walking like... It's like, and you're you like a rising sun. I mean, mm -hmm. kind of hitting on the head, land the rising sun, but still, it was. I still enjoyed it. You know, I overall. still enjoyed it too. Like, but okay, let's not bring it up because I've been teasing it beforehand. The fish heads. Ah, uh, I think what? my brain just kind of blocked out that whole scene. That was, but you, yeah, you see, you're like. Okay, you know, but now, but at least at that point, you know they're on something in that scene, at least. Mm-hmm. What did you think about the music? The Say the Earth. What did you think of that? Was it annoying or a good song? Hmm. Or was it a good song that got annoying? I feel like it's good song that got annoying. Like, the music was neat, but they just kind of overstayed its welcome. And the English translation was good, actually. I thought they had a good, you know, singer for it. Mm -hmm. They kind of matched whoever the Japanese actress was singing. Mm-hmm. And I'll say this. The, was God, again, was Godzilla, yeah, he's full-on gamma, he's full-on hero in this one, but kind of feels like it deserve, you know, it makes some sense, though, don't you think? It's like, yes, yeah, he's Yeah, it's not like Godzilla is sort of going from, hey, I'm like a grumpy monster going on a rampage to I'm a grumpy, reluctant protector of the Earth. Like, yeah, but not only that, though, some people have theorized this. Notice how when Godzilla first deals I mean, with um, Hedera the first time, he's more getting out of the way and waving at him. He's more, it's like, some people theorize that's more Godzilla try to say, Hey, knock it off! You want to start something? Mm-hmm. Did you notice he didn't put up much of a fight the first round, did he? Yeah, where it's just like, hey, this is my turf. Buzz off. By that, I'm almost thinking he's trying to calm him down. Like, he's like, Godzilla the force of nature. Hedera is literally created as a force of nature. Hmm. You kind of get that feeling, maybe at least at first. But as it went on, Benji Godzilla's like, nope, this guy's got to go down. Because mm -hmm. you know, once he starts taking it seriously, that's when it's on. Like, oh, it's on. Mm hmm. But, and the, I guess, but also, let's talk about the final battle. The fact that you have humanity and Godzilla working together. Godzilla's mm -hmm. able to pick up very well what they're, what they're doing. I don't get how his breast can somehow activate electricity. That was weird. Mm hmm. But what about the big moment the launching shooting himself backwards and just going in the air i burst out laughing at that point it just seemed so completely random that i felt like i couldn't have any other reaction and that's i think the dvd title puts the best something you don't see every day yeah. <laughs> now and, and and i got what do you think those things he pulled out those orbs were do you think they were eggs or something Hedra's mm -hmm. eyeballs that's a good question. Yeah, because no idea. I thought, it were, I, I thought it was the eyeballs. Yeah, but it could have been eggs. Hmm. But, um, but yeah, overall, though, this was a trippy movie. I give it like a seven. A seven. Yeah, that's roughly where I put it, too. Where it's, 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 upper, it's higher up in the, in the Showa era. Yeah, where it's just like, just because it's out there doesn't mean that it's bad. I'll say this, it's better than, uh, even though it came out at the same time as Ziggurat, this would have blown Ziggurat right out of the water. Oh, yeah. Although, which is the better villain, Hedra or Ziggurat? I think Hedra and uh, Ziggurat would went out for voice, but Hedra, I think, for concept alone, wins. 
Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> Big Brother had a lot more personality, that's fair, but yeah, just the yeah. actual mechanics of how Hetero works as a monster is just, and I damn, think also, that's really interesting, and, and well... I, and I think uh, Hetero being just sentient trash, it's more effective than Ziggler being all, I, you do not deserve your oceans. I think, <laughs> so I think Hetero is more effective in the message than Ziggler was. Yeah. But overall, I enjoyed this. Now, we're going to start getting now. Is this one, though, I think in the next two movies, we're going to get things into the off period. In fact, they say, they say Megalon and the next two, some consider the worst. I personally don't, but I can see why people would. All right, then. I guess we'll just have to find out for ourselves what we think. Well, I teased you before. I'll tease you again. Next one. You thought it was weird hearing... Minya talk. Try hearing Godzilla and Angerus talk. Oh no. And funniest of all, that's only in the America. In the Japanese, they had speech bubbles. <laughs> I'm not kidding! I believe you! You will see. Wait till you see. Now there is an explanation, unlike in the you know the other movie. It's not a very good explanation, but it's a better explanation than Godzilla's Revenge. Alrighty then, well I guess I'll just have to see that tomorrow. Yep, but until then, we'll see you guys then.